Hey guys, welcome back to Bemum Kitchen. I hope that you have a really great weekend. Today we are making this adorable Rilakkuma decor roll cake. Cake roll painted with cute Rilakkuma and filled with the most delicious and cloud light buttercream frosting. It is super light, moist, and really fluffy. No cracks and rolls beautifully. And the taste of vanilla is really, really good. It's super easy, although it's a bit complicated, but that's okay. I know you guys can handle it, so let me go ahead and show you how to make it. And we are gonna start right away. First off, you need to prepare the A4 Rilakkuma design template. I place the design slightly on the right side of the paper, so when I roll the cake later, the position will be on top of the cake. Feel free to use any template you want, and position it according to your own design. Then over the top of the design, place a piece of baking parchment that sits exactly the bottom of the 10-inch square pan. Secure them each other with some tape, so they stop slipping around. After the template is done, now we can work on our butter. To start off, we are going to make the decorating butter for Rilakkuma, so that go around the outside of the Swiss roll. Place butter in a saucepan, along with 8 grams of milk. Cook over a low heat until simmer and the butter melted. Add in the sieve flour, mix well, stir until it's form a dough ball, then transfer it to a bowl. Wait until the dough a bit warm, then slowly add the mixture of the egg yolk, whole egg, and vanilla extract. Mix until no lumps and well combined. Heat the 30 grams of milk until just warm, then gradually add to the egg butter while keep stirring. Mix until well combined. Strain the butter so there is no lumps remain. Set aside. Next, we are going to use the egg whites and vinegar. Once it gets nice and foamy, slowly add in the granulated sugar in 3 batches. Whip this until they form stiff big. If you leave the bitter, they form a big that holds and stands, like this. Now it's time to combine the two mixture. Fold about one third of the whipped egg whites into the egg yolk mixture. You don't have to be super gentle with this one, I know. This may seem like there's kind of a lot of steps, but I promise, no step is too complicated, and it's going to be so worth it in the end. Pour this mixture to the remaining egg whites mixture, and continue folding until everything is incorporated. After the butter is well combined, divide the butter into a couple small balls, using one ball for each color that you want to use, then transfer its color to a piping bag. Now it's time to decorate our Swiss roll. Start with the outline. After the outline is done, then you can continue with the coloring. Well, I'm just gonna speed up the process guys. After finish with all the design, carefully transfer the design paper onto a grease pen. And then, we are just going to bake this off at 340 degrees Fahrenheit for about 1 to 2 minutes, just until it gets kind like a skin on top. So this way, it won't bleed into our cake butter when we add our raw cake butter on top. To make the cake butter, Please follow the same decorating butter instruction as above. Next, we are just going to pour the cake butter into the pan and very gently spread the butter evenly. 
Being careful not to disrupt our Rilakkuma underneath. Shake and give a couple tap to even it out and get rid of the excess air bubbles. And then, I'm just going to bake this off for about 15 to 18 minutes. Once it's come out from the oven, tap the pan so it won't string too much. Then turn it down onto a cooling rack that has some parchment paper on top. Peel the parchment paper carefully, and you can see your beautiful design underneath. Admire it for a few seconds, and then quickly cover it with some more parchment paper to prevent your cake roll dry out. If it's dry out, it's more likely to crack when you roll it up. While the cake cool up, we are going to mix our super yummy cloth like buttercream frosting. So you are going to mix the milk and flour, and just microwave it in 20 second intervals, or cook on the stove until it just become a paste. Set aside and cool completely. Then cream the butter until it gets a really smooth consistency. Add in the icing sugar, along with vanilla extract. Mix until well combined. And finally, adding the cold flour paste. Mix until it's incorporated. And your buttercream is ready. Easy as that. There's no tricks, no tips to give. Because this is a simple recipe that is very delicious. And before you add the fillings, trim off the excess of the cake to make it more neat and beautiful. Spread the buttercream evenly on top of your cake. I like this kind of frosting for the center cause it has less butter and not overly sweet. And then we are going to roll it up you can see how flexible this cake is. Let it sit for about 15 to 30 minutes to set up a bit. So there it is, delicious light and fluffy Rilakkuma decor roll cake. I love the design so much cause they are really cute. I don't know how to describe it. It's super yummy cause the cake is super moist and soft and the vanilla buttercream frosting are so light and fluffy. I know you're gonna like it so much, I'm personally addicted to it. <laughs> Hope you guys try this and have a lot of fun with this recipe. And I'm also very excited to see what you guys come out with other design too. If you like to see more videos by me, then do subscribe to my channel by clicking on that subscribe button below. Thank you so much for watching, I'll be back next week with some other cute and best recipe. So until then, have a great week baking. Bye guys.